In this video we're going to take a look at applying a watercolour effect to this image. Now this works on a whole range of different subject matters so it's well worth trying and it's an effect that we're actually going to paint in ourselves. To make a start let's come over to the layers panel. We need to duplicate this background layer twice. Now we can do that by simply using command J control J once and using command J control J again. There are our two copies. Now to the top layer here we're going to come in, we're going to double click and we're just going to rename this one sketch so we know exactly what we've done to this particular layer. Right, to apply a sketch effect we're simply going to go to filter, we're going to drop down to blur, we're going to come across to stay, thank you, to smart blur. Now when smart blur opens it looks rather large, we can see just this portion of the image here. Now coming through you can use the plus or the minus but the other way is just to come to where it says 100% to the right of that we've got the double arrows clicking on this I'm going to go for 25% so we can just see exactly how this is going to affect the image. Right clicking down moving it across very slightly into that area there. Now where's this sketch effect? Well we're going to leave the quality down here as low but the mode we're going to change from normal we're going to drop down to edge only. Now as soon as we click on edge only you can now see the sketch effect. Okay admittedly it's the wrong way around we got black with white lineage but uh, don't worry we'll fix that in just a while. We're going to come up to threshold we're going to move the threshold across as you move the threshold across you'll see some of the white lines are now starting to disappear bringing it to this area here and I think I need a few more white lines for our sketch effect so coming to the radius and moving the radius across now the figures I'm putting in here will vary according to the file size that you're working with so just bring it through until you find the sort of look that's uh, you know not dissimilar to this one and yeah something like that that's the type of effect that you're after just where you got this little bit of white lineage coming through there coming up to the trees you can see the way that's affecting the trees there looks pretty good we're going to click OK to that through it comes and once it's applied you can see that's the sort of effect we're looking for well apart from we want it to be the other way around now we can put it the other way around that is white with black lines by simply using command I control I that's command I control I and that looks better that's much more like a sketch right let's switch this layer off let's come down let's make this layer here layer one live now just double click in we're going to call this uh, something simple like effects right pressing enter or return so we've now applied it now on this layer we're going to come back to filter we're going to come back to blur and we're even going to go back to stay Smart Blur. Right, when Smart Blur opens, don't forget you can click on this. You can see you can zoom right the way in or you can zoom out, but 25% I think gives us a pretty good view of this. This time we're going to change the quality from low to high. We're going to change the mode from edge only to normal. So coming in, this is now going to change it. I am leaving the radius and I'm leaving the threshold exactly where they are because the effect this gives, the same effect that we use for the sketch, works really well. So once you've set those figures up, that's it. Coming through, I'm going to click on OK. This is now going to come through and uh, apply itself. Don't forget, it was the high quality, so it takes a little longer to render and uh, just waiting for that and in it goes. Great stuff, that's just the look I'm after. Now we're going to duplicate this layer again, so using Command J, Control J, you can see it's FX Copy, but we're going to double click on here on where it says Copy. I'm just going to swipe across and I'm going to put in the word Paint because we're going to be painting in the effect ourselves. And this is the layer we're going to be painting it on. Now there's a few changes we need to make. The first thing is using Command I or Control I. That's Command I, Control I. We've inverted it. It now looks like a color negative. The next thing we need to do is to come up to the blend mode. Changing it from Multiply, we're going to drop down to Color Dodge. And at this stage, you think, oops, lost it. But don't worry, it's still there. We're going to come back up. We're going to click on the sketch layer. We're going to make it visible by just clicking on the little eyeball icon, but changing the blend mode so we can see through it to the layers underneath. We're going to change this now from normal. Now we can use anything between the darken and the darker color. So you can use any of these blend modes, and I'll come back to that. For now, I'm going to go to darken. We're going to come back to our effects 
paint layer so we're going to paint on this layer even though we're looking through our sketch layer now come across make sure you got the default colors which I haven't so I need to press D on the keyboard pressing D on the keyboard has now restored my default colors we're going to come up I'm going to select a brush now if we drop down to the tool options coming across the brush clicking in the window here it's a default brush that's just what I'm after going to click on the scroll bar dragging it right the way down to the bottom and it's this one here just fitting in the recording area thank goodness it's the dry brush 39 pixels so click on that that's the brush we're after right a few changes we need to make we're going to come down the opacity I'm going to drop right the way down to let's go for five percent the brush size 39 just as it said when we clicked on it so I'm going to take this up into the you know, hundred and some odd would do nicely all right, 165 if you're insistent. Yeah, that'll do. Right, coming through and clicking down. Don't forget we're at 5%, so it just brings through a very light area. We're working on the paint effects layer. We're seeing it through the sketch layer, so we can see that uh, drawing effect there, and you can see the way this is working. Now, if you click down, and you'll see the paint effects flashing on and off as I'm clicking down with my mouse, exactly the same with a pen. As you click down to reapply, we're just coming through and we're just putting some darker spots in these areas here. It just adds to the effect. But for this particular one at 5%, we're just going to sort of lay down some paint, I think is the terminology used. Coming around this area, and there it is. Let's zoom in, take a look, see how this is working. I'm going to use Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar. We can zoom into this area here. Just going to click down you see what I mean as I'm clicking down more and more it's just bringing through more of the picture you see those colors darkening down there nicely right let's drop down to the tools options we're going to take the opacity up now this is the opacity of the brush to 20% just clicking to remove that now when we come in you'll notice the colors are darker and you can see the effect that this dry brush is having like the way that's working once again just clicking down every so often just to give a little bit of a, a darker area and coming down over the area of the sand there and these figures on the beach and up around this part here and those figures in that area there just bringing those through round we come works nicely with the water but as I said this works on a whole range of different subject matters so it's well worth trying on landscapes even on sort of street scenes absolutely fantastic uh, you know portraits group shots yeah give it a try on that as well but with all of these what you may have to do is come in as we will in a second and just explore the different opacities on the layers panel itself right now that we've done that happy with the way that's looking just a little bit more color around the bow of the boat there and over that area that would look great stuff yeah coming through coming back to the sketch layer Remember what I said about darken. We've also got the choice of multiply. Let's see how that looks. And it does darken it down a little bit more. You can see the difference between that one and this one. So not so keen on that color burn. Uh, I like that light effect, but I'm not sure I like the reds coming through there. Although it's not too bad, is it? No. Might come back to that one. Right. Let's come through to linear burn. A little bit dark, a little bit heavy. Uh, dark colors. That looks pretty good as well. Let's just come back to this one. Now, experiment. It's going to look different on your images, so it's well worth experimenting with. I'm going to drop this down, and I, I, you know, I like the effect that's having. Right. That wasn't the one I had planned on using. I was going to go for this one. But again, with this one, just drop the opacity down. You want to get the, the lineage sort of not too... No, second thoughts, looking at this, we're losing the detail there. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go for darker color. All right just <laughs> just helps I think we're losing the detail on that so you have to be a little bit careful right like the way that's looking that's looking much better okay the next thing how about a bit of texture now to apply this we're going to put in a new empty layer by clicking on this icon here to create a new layer in it goes hold down that alt or the option key so holding down alt or option go into layer we're going to drop down to merge visible that's going to put all these layers into this new layer here now on this new layer here we're simply going to go to filter we're going to drop down to texture we're going to come across to texturizer and with texturizer 
once again we're looking at this at 42.5 percent and off the screen there i'm going to go for 100 percent so we zoom in right the way in clicking down you get a hand tool with this so we can move our way around this is on sandstone which is probably my favorite but you've got brick you've got burlap you've got canvas which could be pretty good yeah that looks nice as well but uh, as i say my favorite tends to be sandstone we're 100 percent relief of four and the lighting you can change the direction top right to any of these that's the one i'm after also worth checking the invert just to see yeah i quite like it with the button there the ticked on invert but again try it see which one works on your picture coming through that looks pretty good like that we're in at 50 percent we're going to zoom in. I'm going to use command spacebar, control spacebar, zoom into 100%. Incidentally, when you look at it at 66.67% or any of the odd figures, in other words, the 33.3, it doesn't look particularly good. 50%, 25%, 100%, that's where you should be viewing it. Looking at it uh, on the 100%, if you think it's a little bit too much, come to the opacity, drop in the opacity down, and you can see that texture just fading in it's something like that there that we want coming through you can still see that sketch effect because we're looking through these layers you've now reduced the opacity on layer one and we're now looking through these layers we can still come to the paint effects we've still got my brush there so i can still come in on the paint effects i can still come in and just darken that down a little bit more like this that looks good like that just bringing through the detail on the boat there and just bringing through and you can see that nice brush sort of given a, a really sort of speckled look to that. Love the way that's working. Command zero, control zero goes to a fit on screen. There it is. That is our watercolor effect. Let's just come and bring our cursor out. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go for black. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard. That has now removed all the panels. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.